Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Real United States. I'm your host, Paul Campbell, and behind the camera, as always, is our camera operator and my wife, Beverly Campbell. Well, I find myself once again standing on the 45th parallel, halfway between the equator and the North Pole. Only this time, we're here on the shores of Lake Michigan at the Old Mission Lighthouse. This is the second in our series on lighthouses here in Michigan, the Old Michigan Old Mission Lighthouse. The funds for this lighthouse were approved in 1859. However, the lighthouse construction was not actually completed until 1870, sometime after the Civil War. Now you can see that this is a manned lighthouse, unlike the ones in our previous episode. And we're gonna try and get inside and show you around. But I thought it was particularly poignant that we found this sign that this was exactly on the 45th parallel. We're gonna take you around to the other side now and show you the other side of the lighthouse and the views along what is essentially Grand Traverse Bay. Now Grand Traverse Bay is in the northwestern corner of the lower peninsula of Michigan. And it's a bay formed between the mainland of the lower peninsula and another sub-peninsula called the Leelanau Peninsula and we actually are on a third smaller peninsula that falls between those two which is appropriately named the Old Mission Peninsula. So join us for some views here around the Old Mission Lighthouse and along the shores of Lake Michigan. Okay folks now herein lies the reason for the Old Mission Lighthouse to be located here. As you can see behind me there's quite a bit of rock sticking out of the water and obviously the water is very shallow in this area. Clearly this is a hazard to shipping transportation and certainly in in the day in 1870 when this structure was built. This is a very slowly inclining bottom to the bay here. So this was an absolute necessity to keep ships off of the shallow bottom and off of the rocks that are here on Old Mission Point. So we are going to be able to go into the Old Mission Lighthouse now and we're going to be able to show you around inside which I know is something that a lot of our viewers commented about in our last lighthouse episode. So good news folks this time we are going to get to view inside. Alright folks now this is going to be our first manned lighthouse that we're actually going to get to go in and see the interior of and we've gotten permission to go ahead and film down here in the downstairs and even in the upstairs. Now I understand there is a ladder that we have to climb up, so we're gonna exercise some caution and see how much we can get for you of this. So come on in. Now hopefully the optics on the camera have had time to adjust and you can see that it's really beautiful in here that the inside is all done in knotty pine, natural wood. It's all been varnished to, to maintain it. It's a very, very pretty structure. And they have signs here with events of historical significance over the years and they have, of course, some beautiful historical photographs of the lighthouse from years gone by and they are you can see here playing a a looped video of some of the more significant events weather events in the history of this area now we're going to be able to step here into what would have been the keeper's office and this is this is really this is pretty folks you got to see the the beautiful desk here and some of the memorabilia which would have been indicative of the era and this was actually the office of Captain John Lane who was born August 9th of 1827 
You can see this beautiful desk that he had here. And of course, this is interesting up in the upper right hand corner of the office is a picture of President George Washington, who was, of course, the United States' first president. Something that is typically found in many people's offices uh, that, that work in government will be a picture of the president, although uh, the picture of our first president, also not terribly uncommon. And you see it's a relatively small office, wooden floors, the old wooden chair that's here. It's quite pretty. We're gonna we're gonna move on through the through the lighthouse here now. Pardon me. And we're gonna move on upstairs. Turnabout's fair play. When we were at the windmill, Beverly got to go ahead and I was carrying the camera, so this time it's her turn. I don't know how well we can catch it on camera, but there is a window here facing over Lake Michigan with a very lovely view. And that's going to be difficult to get with the lighting, but it's a very pretty view from here. There's certain things that the human eye can do that cameras just simply cannot do. Now here's a nice display with a, I don't know if this is probably a replica of the uniform that Captain Lane would have worn or the lighthouse keepers after him would have worn in the service of tending the lighthouse. And this large glass structure here is a fifth order Fresnel lens, although I've often heard it pronounced Fresnel. It is spelt Fresnel. And this is used to magnify and disperse the light from the lighthouse out onto the lake and make it carry a greater distance for the ships to be able to see. This would have been the sleeping quarters for Captain and Mrs. Lane. And you see some of the clothing of the period, some of the furniture and artifacts from the era after the Civil War when the Lanes lived here. Again, it's very small quarters, but they're cozy. And I just love the, the natural wood floors. They aren't painted or stained. It's natural wood that's been varnished. It's very, very nice. And the walls, of course, have been plastered, which would have been typical of the late 19th century with wet plaster here in the United States, certainly in this part of the country. Yeah, it'll happen. So this is the second story of the lighthouse where the, the living quarters are. And now it looks as though we can go up yet another flight of very steep stairs. I thought it was going to be a ladder, but it actually is stairs, but they're quite steep. And see what's up there. Let's go, folks. Wow. He's <clears throat> I say you. Not 
easily. Although they get progressively steeper. And in fact, I think we're probably going to have to hand pass the camera. Tilt it up. Another window on the third floor. Now, it's such close quarters here. I, I don't even know how this is, is really coming out because it's very it's getting smaller and smaller as we get up into the actual lighthouse. It's like, what, three feet wide? Uh, Where your hands are. Well, this area is probably uh, two feet. So these stairs <clears throat> are only, it's about an 18 inch opening here and then a, roughly a two foot wide. Wow. And there is, you got to show them this. I'm good. You got shown this. This is a. I have to actually crawl up through this hole to get into the top of the lighthouse. So this is actually a treat because I didn't know we were going to be allowed to do this, and I'm hoping that I can get my rather ample frame through this hole. Yeah, go ahead, folks. Laugh it up. Why is it doing tricks? Probably. That's not, that's got to be a very unattractive shot. Uh, it smells me warm. We're actually going to hand the camera up. I have no idea how much of this we're going to use. I'm actually up in the lighthouse structure and I'm going to let Beverly hand me the camera. And this you got to see, folks. Hi, guys. Could have been worse. Could have been a ladder, like a vertical ladder, like in the barn where I grew up. Ta-da! <laughs> it's beautiful up here. My God, it's beautiful. And here's the caveat. No railing. Don't step in the hole. That's a recipe for a broken leg. Why do we keep going places with open holes? Here you go. Again, I don't know how much of this we're gonna run. Okay. So we are up in the glassed in light of the lighthouse. This is a spectacular opportunity. I didn't know we were gonna to get to get into the actual lighthouse chamber and it's just beautiful you can see all the way around us the winds kicking up a little bit and there's mist fog coming off of the water because the water's been heated in these very shallow depths from the sun and been fogging and now you can see it blowing in it's actually fog coming in off of lake michigan well actually it's off of Grand Traverse Bay, technically. We're still inside of the bay. And this is just, this is just amazing, folks. This is beautiful. I'm going to do a 360. Carefully. Without stepping in the hole. Outstanding. Just absolutely beautiful. Now as long as we're up here, I'd like Bev to swing over here to the south 
And over here is a antique log home, which has been moved here. It's a genuine article home that has been taken down and brought here and reconstructed on this site for preservation. So it's really a very beautiful park-like setting and just a gorgeous opportunity to actually be able to come up here into the light area. So I'd like to thank you for joining us here on The Real United States, here at the Old Mission Lighthouse, out on Old Mission Point in Traverse City Bay. We hope you've enjoyed this short episode, your tour up through the lighthouse. If you haven't already, we encourage you to pick subscribe and join us for future episodes. If you have questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. We try to get back to everybody we can as soon as we possibly can. If you'd share this with your friends and family, that really helps us out a lot, helps make this channel grow. And as always, thank you for watching.